Okay, <clears throat> so let's say um, you're somewhere outside of your studio and you've just made a really awesome drawing and you'd like to color it and I've made this drawing in, in, uh, in graphite and so now I want to color it using my iPad which is a really cool which is a really cool um, option. Okay, I'm going to turn off the light here. Alright, so first thing you got to do is uh, take a picture with your iPad. So try to hold the picture, the iPad extra still. Wait for it to focus. Bam. Okay, awesome. So the app I'm going to be using is an app called Brushes. Uh, it's one of the cheaper ones. It's one of the most simple ones. Go to the gallery. It's one I did earlier. Just make a new um, new picture. Then up in the corner, there's like a little icon. Hit that. Go ahead. It takes you to your camera roll. You can bring in all your all your photos. There's my photo. I can move it around, adjust it, zoom in if I want. Bring it in. I want it right about there. So the iPad camera does pretty well. You can see that, you know, that's pretty awesome. Okay, let's start painting. So I have my drawing. Just go to the layers. Set my pencil layer, my photo, to multiply. This allows me to color behind it, and the colors will come through the layer. Uh, I could also turn the opacity down if I don't really want to see it or if I wanted to trace it again I'm just gonna keep the opacity up completely because right now I'm just coloring okay, turn the layers off go to your colors uh, I'm gonna start with like a kind of a purple I can adjust the brightness it's pretty red okay now I'm gonna be using a stylus made by bamboo especially for drawing um, it's really awesome they've made it for the iPad it's like 20 bucks I read the reviews this one was reviewed as the best and I'm glad I bought it because it works great. Um, I'm really looking forward to kind of the future of tablets and how they're connected to art because uh, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see what becomes available in, in the coming years. Okay so I'm just coloring in the background Let's say I've colored all that in and I don't like it so I can just hit the undo buttons it can undo a lot okay so instead of coloring the background first I'm gonna just reinforce my lines so like let's say you brought in a drawing now you can essentially ink it on the iPad Um, I find myself using the iPad mostly when I'm outside of my house, like if I'm at a coffee shop or I'm at a friend's house and I want to do a little drawing or I'm sorry, coloring. I I just kind of grab my iPad and I kind of doodle around, and I've actually been able to make some pretty good images. Okay, as you see I'm adjusting the layers, I want to work on a different layer. I have my drawing, I have my line work, and now I'm going to go to my coloring layer. So, um, let's do like a charcoal. I have all these presets. Make my brush a little bigger. And I'm just going to kind of start to color in major areas. And so if you don't have all your markers and you want to try coloring a little bit, iPad works great. Okay. 
This is just a demo, so I'm not going to try to get too detailed. Okay, let's bring the brush down. Now, the only thing is, um, the iPad isn't pressure sensitive, so pressing hard won't make a difference. But it does create line variety if you move fast or slow. So, it's not exactly like drawing in the real real world, but sometimes it, it almost feels feels real. Okay, got my presets here. Let's see, I'm going to pick a flush tone here. How about that one? That one's good. There's a little lag on this program. I don't know. Uh, I notice every time I change brushes, I'll experience on the first couple of brush strokes, I'll experience a little bit of lag in the brushes program. So, this is iPad uh, third generation. There's a lot of great apps for drawing. I'm just using the brushes one because it's one of the simplest to use. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so let's say I want to put some yellow eyes here. <laughs> Maybe some highlights, bring the brush way down. All right, and, you know that's uh it's just a little demo, so it looks awesome. Thank you for watching, and if you have any ideas or videos of your own, the link on my uh, comments. So please do so. Love to hear from everybody. Thanks.